Oh, I think it is. Okay. Okay, so now that we got weapons, let's actually make them more pretty, more functional and work like uh, weapons should work. So yeah, let's go just here into our weapon template and let's do a few things. So first of all, uh, we need tick, event tick and on tick we want to do a line trace by channel. And this line trace by channel will start from caram, camera manager uh, of player zero. So, okay, we need to do this only when weapon is actually picked up and doing stuff. So what we need to do is uh, in use. So when is it in use? Mm. Do we want to change it by hand or, or do we want to, you know what, let's actually, instead of a variable, let's make a function. Let's call it in use and it will get owner mm. equipment, no, get equipment manager. So first of all, if owner valid. Uh, if not, return node and output is in use. Compile and this is a pure function, by the way. So it's not in use if we don't have an owner. Then equipment manager. Do we have a valid equipment manager? If we don't have a valid uh, equipment manager, then it's not in use again. Okay, but if it is valid, then get in slot uh, okay so get item in slot weapon uh, and if this item <laughs> is found not then you guessed it it goes here, okay. Uh, okay, however, if it is true, then we want to see if this item itself, and if this self, well, then we can just do a return no, uh, return node. So if it is self, so if the weapon in slot weapon is this weapon that we have here right now, it means we are in use. If it's anything else, uh, then we are not in use. Okay, event graph branch. In use. But there might be one more very important thing and we might want to see if also owner we need to check if he is a character after he is valid and if this character is locally controlled because if he's not locally controlled we don't want to do this as well uh, okay so if this is false this goes simply here okay okay I think this should work. So 
if we are controlled and in and equipped by a local player then and only then we want to do a line trace get camera manager and this returns camera manager for a specific local player which is just this so this will not work hmm this will not work for our AIs, but we don't care about that for now. So let's just do this and get word, get actor location. This is the start, get actor forward vector. Okay. And this forward vector is going to be multiplied by a float, which is so forward vector is just a well, forward vector that is normalized, so between 1 and 0, and we want to multiply it, so wherever the actor is facing forward, we want to multiply it by distance, let's say 10,000 units, so this is like 100 meters, and we want to get actor location, and add this vector to it, and this is the end, and now if we got a hit from this, and only then we want to get this hit uh, impact point and want to um, calculate um, oh we got a function here that's interesting but this is taking uh, care of the trajectory of the bullet and we don't want to do that really so what we want to do is just um, get world location find look at rotation the target is this impact point and this is the rotation and for this eb barrel we want to set relative uh, rotation okay and the relative rotation is this rotation and this happens only here and we might want to just do debug for one frame just for now and by the way actors to ignore we definitely need to make a list so make an array and we want to get owner want to get instigator we want to get well we already ignore self so any um, um, get attached actors so attached actors are uh, attached actors are just any um, sites or any attachments like silencers and stuff and we don't want them to uh, do anything with it so we just take owner instigator self obviously and all attached actors so this is being added to this so this is being stored in the memory temporarily so what would be best if we make this a function so let's make and collapse it to a function and set barrel rotation uh, or maybe barrel rotation to crosshair that's super long mm. well let's let's make it like this why not uh, promote to local variable uh, and this is ignored so first of all we set it and then we append it like this and we add those attached actors and we no longer use this we use this and this way uh, yeah mm. okay this should work let's see Oh. Nope, definitely not working. Uh, what did I do wrong? 
let's go into weapon template and let's go here power okay it's probably because said world uh, rotation not relative rotation pretty sure that this should be it yep now it's going straight for the middle of it so middle of the crosshair okay so not relative word rotation because we were using word location and this is also in word space so this is obviously not super precise but it does its job so we got this this should be working as well uh, okay um, we got this rotate barrel so now if we go into eb barrel we want to add an event and say shot fired and on shot fired what we want to do is well we want to do a lot of stuff really so we want to add a particle uh, system which is an old particle system from ballistic vfx um, you know what no not from here we want to go into iron belly weapons where we got everything we got animations and basically everything we got particles and let's go with um <laughs> yeah we started with glock let's use this one as an example and what we want to do is we want to attach particle system and this particle system is being attached uh, to basically the same barrel socket um, of the skeletal mesh okay snap snap keep world okay and this fx it should be uh, out activated off and now on event graph we want to do a lot of stuff so first of all we want to take this fx and we want to say activate and i don't remember if we want to write us that let's say that we do this is flash we want to obviously run uh, animation that will be synchronous on the owner and on us as well so we need uh, all of those animations arms and fire so now nah, now we need to do some stuff to it fortunately so we got already fire animations and we got montages for them which is awesome and they are already retargeted to our skeleton uh, but they will not work as we want them to work because we want them to be additive. So let's change that, let's say mesh space, uh, specific animation, and we say uh, AK-47 fire. So it's, oh, this is ADS. Doesn't really matter. It can be this one. And we're saying frame zero, so it's additive to itself. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, it was out of bound. So yeah, mesh space, additive type, it was like this we say animation frame we say this animation frame zero this is your additive now so we got this one uh, already done so we can now go uh, to our weapon and we can say um, get owner um, we can say play montage oh no we have to cast to character and say play and montage and let's say this is the montage and now owner will play this montage but this montage is not in any slot really so we have to open it we have to say slot is upper body just save it uh, and now we also need to say that our skeletal mesh uh, okay so this will be promote to variable and this is uh, character fire montage 
and this is obviously instance edit table and then there is a second montage play montage and this will be weapon montage this is exposed animation flash uh, what else there is uh, oh yeah we need the sound component so an audio uh, component and uh, let's say just audio this is fine not how to activate um, no uh, audio well we just really need to uh, play yeah just play from start time zero and we'll set it by hand uh, same for the flash we don't need it to be parameterized this one has to be because we can't set it in a component so we got those two uh, what else there is we got audio we got animation and we got flash okay yeah that, that, that's enough for now we, we don't need more really uh, so let's close this close this close the bullet go here uh, on shot fired so let's now edit all our weapons so we got this and this will take us some time unfortunately so ak glock and cannon mp7 shotgun okay all of those let's go uh, shotgun okay flash will be remington 870 audio will be um, let's oh no not waves and not re retro let's use real guns cues guns shotgun throw boom holster cool uh, pump Oh yeah, this one definitely. Unless not nah, this one. So we'll just use this one. Bam. Um attenuation will be probably oh yeah, we need to set it in our template. Honestly, I forgot about that. So going to audio and let's say attenuation will be gun attenuation, which is also copied from the uh, ballistics fx, but it's doesn't really matter really uh, you can make attenuation by yourself so yeah this is the shotgun it got a, and now this and flash which is custom okay this will be American um, fire montage or ADS fire montage um, This is weapon, this is arms. So this is arms and this is weapon. American fire. So this is in the weapons folder. So this is for it. So I need to go here, get the one that's being used. And I need to say mesh space, animation frame, American fire. Mm this one frame zero okay and now open montage and say upper body okay uh, so we got shotgun done and we can i think test it right away flash okay everything should be good to go for it Yeah, and because the animation is additive, 
it actually plays in ADS as well, so uh, that works for me. Okay, that was all ammo. So yeah, this works as intended. Let's go to MP7, one of my favorite weapons. Let's say fire montage will be MP7. Oh no, it's not called like this. It was SMG. Yeah, it was German SMG. So let's go here. This is animation arms. So let's go here. So we need to edit this. Uh, we need to set it as mesh space additive, reference to self, German fire, and this is guns, weapons, and this is arms. So this is self, and now I open this and say upper body. Okay. Uh, Shall I can close, and this is uh, German SMG fire. And this is the weapons one. Okay. And also flash will be here. Uh, this one I think is called MP7A1 directly. They weren't even. Oh, and now let's pick a sound. This is my favorite part. So let's go here. Q scans and submachine gun one. Uh. Yeah, this one is nice. Let's use this one. So let's use this one. And this is already set. This is set. Animations are set. Mm, and let's test it. Okay, I don't think that everything is fine because if we go here and I will find my flash. Uh, oh no, this seems to be fine. Yeah, it's in place. Yeah, this is the barrel. So yeah. It works. I guess I was seeing things. Okay, so let's go here and let's say Magnum. No, it's not Magnum, it was Hand Cannon. So, how is it called? Uh, Harem Belly Particles. If you think the Desert Eagle, yeah, that's probably this one. So let's use this one, audio, okay, we need really powerful gun audio. So this will be flare gun, rifles, pistol, magnum revolver, oh, interesting. Oh, I like this one. I mean, this is like a cannon. Maybe let's use this one. So this will be the sound. This is the flash. And now animations. Character fire will be hand cannon fire montage. Uh, we can use the ADS or the normal. Let's use the ADS uh, hand cannon. Mm, this is character mesh. Yeah, this is for the mannequin. Let's go to it. Let's open this one as usual. Let's say, oh, let's put it here. Let's say mesh space self and cannon fire. Oh, I already got an additive one. That's interesting. Okay, but let's change this one. Um, mm. I got this animation, but I got 
Uh, where is it? Okay, this is already upper body. And this is the... Okay, yeah, this seems it should be right. Uh, we're going to see. And weapon montage will be hand cannon fire montage, just like that, for the weapon. You can see the weapon icon here. Okay, let's test it. Oh, no, no. This is a no, no. It's a big no, no. Uh, to use this one I mean this is upper body fire pistol uh, let's see it's this one yeah let's use this one um, fire hand cannon uh, this one okay I think I have done something wrong for sure so let's use this one this one looks good uh, let's save everything yeah, let's see okay it works and the last one we got is the Glock oh and the AK so the Glock, uh, it already has flash for the Glock and audio. Let's pick an audio real fast. Uh, we'll go here, say Q scans, uh, pistol one. I like this one. Let's use this one. And all we have left is this. You know, this is uh, Austrian pistol fire. Uh, it will be this one. Austrian pistol fire. So it's this one. And we say now again. It's like opening in my full screen, which is a lot wider. So mesh space selected. Austrian pistol fire. Mm, no. Now it's additive to self, and here hmm. it's called something else animations, weapons. Austrian pistol. Oh, okay, it's Australian pistol in here. Okay, why not? No matter, I couldn't find it. And let's check. And if you can see this, it means my mouse is broken. It's not anything bad with the code, it's just my mouse being too much chewed by the cats. Okay, all 15, everything works. Last one, AK, flash AK. Ooh, it's not called AK, interesting. Weapons, no, not animations, particles, ARK, okay, why not? Mm, and some really cool sound for it. Let's find one. Scans. Oh, there is a K, literally a K. That's nice. Oh, this one. I'll have to check others. I like this one. Um, yeah, and now the animations. So this will be a K fire. So this is for the weapon. This is for the arms. So let's go to the arms. Let's open this one. Let's say mesh space, additive, AK fire. 
okay additive to self so yeah it's just again exactly the same as it was and we can see this a pose which is fine because it's an additive and here a k fire and this is animation arms animation weapons so it's this one okay let's just make sure that this is in the oh no 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 we want to be upper body however in default slot it will also work not gonna lie it's just additive animation so they will work in everything but just to be sure we go here and say fire and we find all our fire montages so this one those two those those That's pretty much, I think, everything. And if we, if we don't use any montage, we might use in near future. So just set everything to upper body. Uh, let me just put it here. Okay, upper body works for me. Upper body. Her body her body her body her body okay 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 and oh this is the last one but it's already set and this is also upper body so we should be good to go let's save everything and if we hit play the last one was okay works perfectly so we got this shooting what we need now is to have ammo that we can pick up and we can reload weapons and to do stuff with it so those weapons uh, oh uh, let's test if all those effects are visible in multiplayer if not let's close it with that so let's hit this and let's see oh i think it is Okay. Of course, you could add some extra sounds to the animations themselves, like cocking the shotgun, stuff like that. But in general, it works exactly as intended, and the uh, plugin for uh, Easy Ballistics is handling everything behind the scenes. So, yeah, that works well. Uh, yeah, so we got functional weapons that do stuff and can run out of ammo. So now we need to be able to pick up this ammo, right? So see you in the next uh, episode. It will be all about that.